It's time to get scheduling. To add a new schedule to SLP Toolkit, click the blue plus sign from the daily agenda. Give your schedule a name, select a color scheme, edit the start and end times of your workday as needed, and then enter the start and end dates of your school year. This will populate a calendar, which you can edit to fit your specific schedule type. Here, you can define which days you see students. Now on the calendar, you can select which weeks you want to populate on the daily agenda. So if you have alternating A and B weeks, or perhaps you use a 3 to 1 service delivery model, then you can go through and deselect any weeks your schedule does not apply to. At this time, you can only remove entire weeks. So if you wanted to define a holiday or other day off school, instead of removing it from the calendar, you would just need to mark that day as absent from the agenda view. If you are in a district that follows a six day rotating schedule, then go ahead and click the rotating box, which will allow you to rename your days. Make sure you have six days and then you most likely might label them one through six. An important thing to check is that you set your schedule start date to begin on a day one schedule. For example, you might be contracted to start working on August 1st, but if you don't actually see students until the 10th, then make sure the 10th is set as your start date because your day one events are going to populate on the start date you select. Another thing you'll want to do is use the calendar to click on any holidays or missed days that you want your schedule to rotate around. Now, if you are not on a rotating schedule, do not click this box or your session events won't populate on the correct days. Let's finish setting up a regular five day schedule. So click create and now you will be taken to the scheduler. In the right hand corner, you can click the question mark, which will walk you through the scheduler step by step. On the left hand panel, you will see your students' information pulled from the caseload tab. If you haven't had a chance to add your caseload yet, you can do so directly from the scheduler by typing in your student's name and adding their teacher and grade. The additional tags field will allow you to filter students by something other than teacher and grade. This is especially helpful for those of you in secondary who may want to see students during their electives. You can make as many tags as you would like to make the scheduling process a lot easier. The IEP service time field is merely a reference of how many service minutes your student receives. You can use it as you create service time blocks for each of your students. When you click on the blue plus sign, it will default to 30 minutes, but you can adjust the time and define what type of therapy you will be doing with your student if you want to group students by therapy type. Once you create service time blocks for each of your students, then you are going to see a list of all of your students and the amount of time they need to be scheduled for in the service times tab. For example, this student needs to be scheduled for two 30 minute sessions. So we can drag them onto our schedule, which will make them disappear from our list. Now we know that manually having to figure out when to schedule in each student can take a lot of brain strain. So we want to introduce the magic of using the filter to help make this process a little less painful. First, let's remove these students from the schedule and you'll notice that they show back up on our list. Using the filter, we can narrow down this list to groups of students that we might want to schedule by. In elementary school, you most likely are scheduling by grade level or teachers. So we would recommend sending an email to all of your teachers and asking them for three preferred time blocks that you would be able to pull their students during. For example, if Gentis and Johnson in first grade told me I can take the students between 8.20 and 8.50 on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, then after selecting their names, I'll click on any to get a list of any student that has either of these teachers. Next, I'll highlight those times on the scheduler 
and click Schedule for my students to auto-populate into the first available time. Make sure to hit Clear before moving on to your next group of students. It may work better for some of you to filter by grade. So here are all of my second graders, and I know that I can see them during their social studies or science period. So I will schedule them in during those times. For those of you in secondary school, you can scroll down or type in those additional tags that you created. So maybe I want to find all students that have an elective first period. Then I can filter to begin scheduling by elective period. Now there is some built-in logic within the scheduler. For one, it automatically caps a group at four students so as not to overschedule a group for you. However, you can always drag students around to add more or less to a group. The scheduler will also make sure that the same student is not scheduled more than one time per day. After you finish up with the auto scheduler, you can manually make additional changes as needed. Perhaps a student might be a better fit in a different group, or you need to adjust a student's session time to be longer, shorter, or to an exact minute. You can also add in non-therapy events by right-clicking and selecting which event you want to add. If you ever need to change the name or times of your schedule, you can edit calendar details from the Actions drop-down. You can also download your schedule as a PDF or into a spreadsheet format, as well as export it into your Google Calendar, iCal, or Outlook. Once you're done with your schedule, you can close out and you'll notice that your schedule now appears on your agenda, so you are ready to start taking data. Or if you have a special alternating schedule or students that are only seen once a month, you can finish scheduling those students by adding additional schedules and repeating the process.